Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over Beautybox Video for Avid. It's our first release of Beautybox for Media Composer, so we're pretty excited about it. And I'm just going to go over the basics here, so uh, let's get started. The first thing to do is come in and select your clip. And come up to your effect palette and go to Digital Anarchy and go to Beautybox and drag that over onto your clip. And that's going to load up the beauty box parameters in the effect editor. And the first thing you want to do is scroll down to the very bottom and select Analyze Frame. Now this is basically just a button. You click on it. And what this is going to do is run face detection and some other algorithms to figure out what my skin tones are and build an automatic mask. And we can take a look at that mask by turning on Show Mask. And you see it's done a pretty nice job of selecting the skin tones. Uh, there's a little bit of noise up here that we could probably improve. So what I'm going to do is go to the mode pop-up and select add color. And I can just click on these gray areas. And that's going to add the underlying skin tone to our color map, expand that skin tone range, and create a little bit better mask for us. Now the great thing is Beautybox is going to track that throughout the entire video clip. So now if I move forward from here, you can see that no matter what she does, whether she turns her head, whether she talks, whatever, the mask is going to stay nice and white on those skin tones, which means Beautybox will be applied just to those areas. All right, let's switch back into effects mode so we can edit Beautybox. So since I have a great mask, I'm going to turn Show Mask off. I'm pretty much done with that. But just remember that you can use Add Color to expand the skin tone range just by clicking on the canvas here. Uh, when we're done with it, we also want to turn it off so if we accidentally click on the canvas, it doesn't uh, add whatever underlying color to the color map. So now that Show Mask is turned off, we can dial in the amount of smoothing that we want. So smoothing amount and skin detail amount are the main parameters for adjusting the smoothing amount. In this case, I'm going to dial it down just a little bit. Set this to about 30, set this to about 25. And that's going to back off the smoothing a little bit. Now, when you smooth out the skin, it does sometimes reduce the contrast. And so I'm going to increase contrast enhance. And that's going to add a little bit more contrast back to the image. And that's pretty much it as far as how to use Beautybox. Now, obviously, there's a lot more things in here that you can play around with. But the basic functionality of the plugin is to just click on Analyze Frame. That's going to figure out what your skin tones are. And then dial in however much smoothing you want. And basically, at that point, you're good to render. Now, there's a lot of other parameters in here, so let's touch on those briefly. Uh, if we are not happy with our mask, we can come down here and make adjustments to it with the hue, saturation, and value ranges. These basically allow you to adjust the contrast of the mat and constrain the grayscale values. They were really increasing the contrast here and maybe overdoing it a little bit, but for the purposes of showing you how it works, that's what I want to do. And of course, we can go in the other direction. And start including maybe too much. That's not a good mask at all. So we're going to go back to more or less our original values, which are pretty good default values. But this gives you the option of playing around with this and further enhancing the mask. Uh, you can, of course, use your own mask if you already have a key pulled on the skin tones. You can use mask input to set that. And so that's all there is for the mask. Now we can also come down to the color correction area here, where we have some very basic color correction controls built in. The one nice thing about this is that you can use Use Mask to constrain the correction just to the skin tones. So if we want to increase the saturation, 
We can do that and the brightness. And of course the hue, if we want to warm or cool the skin tones up. Now, obviously if you were doing advanced color correction, this is probably not the place to do it. Uh, there are much more sophisticated ways of doing color correction, both within Avid and elsewhere. Now, this is really just available to you as sort of a quick and dirty way of making some adjustments to just the skin areas. And it works pretty well for that, but for uh, real color correction, obviously you'll want to use other tools. If you have an image that has a bright highlight on it from shiny skin reacting to bright lights, uh, you can use shine removal to make adjustments there. Uh, that will help reduce those hot spots. It is a very useful tool for dealing with those types of problems. And last but not least, we have some presets down here. If you're looking for different styles or looks for your video, you can come down here to the preset list and select those, and those will automatically give you different types of color corrected looks and color effects. But in this case, I'm just gonna turn that off and leave us with the original video. And that's about it. So the great thing about Beautybox is it's a very simple plugin to use, but it creates some great effects. It creates a very natural, realistic look very much just like digital makeup, as that's what it's been designed to replicate and basically take those problems that we run into with high def and 4K, where we're just seeing so much skin detail and really allowing us to reduce it and create a much better look that looks natural. It doesn't look like it's retouched. We're not just blurring out the skin. We're using some very sophisticated algorithms to keep the skin texture and create a very realistic look. So hopefully it works as well on your footage as it does on my test footage here. I am pretty certain that it will. And so thanks for joining me. Now we've got lots of other tutorials on digitalanarchy.com. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always email sales at digitalanarchy.com. So thanks again for joining me and see you in the next tutorial.